to watch about the movie. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, actually, the film is uh, inspired in a project, uh, um, an actual photographic project. It, it has the same uh, name of the film, lighttrapping.com. If you check it, you, you're going to see all the pictures that this guy taken. Uh, uh, he's a friend of mine. And his, his way of doing it is uh, like contacting guys on apps like Scruff, like Grindr. And uh, he starts talking to the guys. And uh, from the talks, he gets what the guys want to do with their pictures. Some of the, of the pictures they just want to do out of narcissism, narcissism or like they just want to have the, the, their naked bodies in, uh, in a picture with a good environment. But some of them, they, they have like they have like some traumas or things that they, they want to work out, and some of the pictures uh, are really uh, ways of uh, like extracting something from uh, the, the guys that uh, agree to have th their picture uh, taken. So uh, I I got all of this. Uh, it, actually, some of the pictures of this project I, I got like uh, inspiration directly from the pictures. I created the stories, and that's what you see uh, on screen. Can I ask you something? Uh, hello. Oh, have sorry. You, have you sent this uh, short film to any other uh, festivals or uh, places, stuff like that? Because yeah, it's, it started uh, his uh, its festival career in 2016, and it's it's uh, I think it, this is like the fourth festival. <coughs> it ran uh, a lot in Brazil. But also in South America, in the United States, Mexico, and here in Europe, like uh, France, Italy, Poland, um, know, UK. Uh, the, the the Eastern Europe, I really liked it. <laughs> like <laughs> Slovenia, um, I think Croatia, Slovakia, lots of places. Uh, you made very beautiful picture of uh, the naked uh, male uh, body. Uh, how do you manage in such difficult uh, techniques like no light at all, uh, darkness? Uh? Yeah, that was a, that, that was a challenge because mm. like the process of uh, his pictures, uh, it's just like uh, in uh, in the scene of uh, the dam. Uh, you, you you get to see how. He lights the, the, the body, like he, he, he leaves it like 40 seconds, 50 seconds, so uh, like a long exposure. So that's, mm -hmm. why, that's how he gets all the, the different effects of lighting. So uh, actually I brought the photographer and my, my photographer uh, of the film, so <laughs> he could, they could talk. Because uh, I, 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 I had to bring some of the effects uh, of the, the photographic process, like the steel uh, pho photographs, for the film, mm -hmm. which, uh, which has ob obviously a different uh, uh, mechanics. Mm -hmm. So it was tough. But uh, we managed to, to do, like, um, for, for example, some, some tricks. Like in the scene of the dam, there is a. a a lantern, a green lantern, like uh, between uh, his feet. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you see the long shot, actually that is not the light from the, the from <laughs> his <laughs> lantern. There is some, some uh, other uh, spotlight there. So mm -hmm. there are a few tricks like that in the film. Beautiful result. Mm -hmm. Can I have something? <coughs> Uh, what's uh, the assistant photographer at the start when one of the models asked him to join him and he was so shy and he answered his response to him as no. And in the end we saw him uh, during the daylight to remove his clothes and uh, willing to uh, walk on the street. But in between the photographer like forced him or he made him do uh, a naked walk. So my question is, uh, that uh, this boy, it's, uh, he discovered this for himself or someone told him to do? Well, that is something that the film doesn't say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a question mark for me. <laughs> but like, uh, at this point, I really like to see the film as a viewer, not a filmmaker. And I like to think that uh, the, the, the boy uh, just got 
a click. Like all, all this journey is about him, him discovering uh, what uh, turns him on. It's not like about uh, basic sex sexualities. I think it's something about uh, him going deep in what uh, he is a, as a sexual person. Mm -hmm. So what he does in the end for me is, is something that he does uh, on his own because he at, at that point he feels safe because like the sea embraces him at that point so I, I, I like to think that uh, he feels really inspired by the city and by the environment and by all the, the journey that he had that night to do that and feel free <coughs> thank you okay we can continue the screening uh, thank you very much Marcio. thank you